You know, Globy, NASA's going back to the moon pretty soon. But if I were going, you know what I'd want to bring? My favorite food. Juicy grapes. Mm. At home here on Earth, we often choose food by what we're craving, what looks delicious, or maybe we eat whatever mom puts on the table. But when deciding what type of food to take into space, there are quite a few more things to think about. I have a question for you. Do you think astronauts would rather take a piece of bread or a tortilla into space? Well, if you said tortilla, you're absolutely right. Yay! Tortillas have become a real favorite with astronauts, but not for the reason you might think. Sure, they take up less space, but they also don't crumble. Believe it or not, floating bread crumbles can get into air filters and can even get into an astronaut's eye. Now that's not something I want to worry about while enjoying a good old PB&J. Astronauts are allowed to taste and pick their meals before a mission into space. Today, astronauts have over 200 different food and drink choices. Of course, the goal of food is always to provide nutrition and keep the astronauts healthy and strong. But how much space will a certain food take up? There isn't much room on the shuttle. NASA has to think about the weight and size of food sent to space. Think about your favorite food. How big is it? I really like grapes, but they weigh considerably more and take up a lot more space than, say, raisins. Ah, this brings up another point. How long will the foods last? How long would you say a bunch of grapes would stay fresh in your backpack compared to how long a box of raisins would? NASA has to think about the stability of food. Stability of food looks at how long the food will keep without spoiling and be safe for the astronauts to eat. This is probably the most important part of food in space. If the food spoils, there is no way for the astronauts to get anything else to eat. Because it costs so much and takes so much time and effort to get to space, it's important for food to remain safe for years at a time. When you think it'll take a mission to Mars three years to complete, the importance of lasting food is pretty clear. Wonder how they cook up there? Well, let's pay a visit with some astronauts at the International Space Station to find out. While at the space station, astronauts use a food warmer that looks a lot like a metal suitcase to heat their food. Some foods have been dehydrated to save space and make them safe to store over long periods of time. Dehydrate means to remove water. To rehydrate or add moisture, they need to add hot water. It's a breakfast of champions. Warm waffles and strawberries and Mexican scrambled eggs. Sounds good to me. Which breakfast do you think you'd prefer? In space, water goes where you send it. Watch this astronaut get a gulp of orange juice. Now check out this water drinking contest. NASA is currently exploring the idea of growing food in space to feed astronauts on longer missions. Yes, food here on Earth is important, but in space, it's almost more important. Here on Earth, if you run out of something, the market isn't far away. But try making a quick stop for eggs from the moon. Not a choice. So the next time you're enjoying your favorite food, take a second to decide if it's space ready. Hey, Globy, I wonder if NASA needs some new recipes. Thank <laughs> you.